Many people on the Gulf Coast are mourning the death of a longtime Alabama state representative. Dr. Yvonne Kennedy passed away this morning at UAB Hospital in Birmingham. Fox 10 News has reaction from some of Dr. Kennedy's colleagues and members of the local legislative delegation. Dr. Yvonne Kennedy became the first African-American woman elected to the Alabama House of Representatives in 1979. One of her closest friends in the House was in Montgomery this morning when he received the news of her passing. He stopped the meeting about 11 o'clock, 11.15, and announced that he had gotten a, a call from the hospital of UAB in Birmingham, announced that Dr. Kennedy had passed. Representative James Buskey says he and Kennedy often rode together to Montgomery during legislative sessions, but she was much more than a colleague. And I know her person to be a good person, a good friend, and uh, this community will miss her. No details were released this morning about the cause of Kennedy's death. However, Buskey and other friends in the legislature were aware she had been ill recently. State Senator Vivian Figure says she thought Dr. Kennedy was showing improvement. I saw her niece. We were on a plane together last Friday, and I asked her, you know, how was he fun? And she said she was doing good. And I just, I said, well, tell her she's in our thoughts and prayers. Kennedy became president of Bishop State Community College in 1981. An auditorium on campus is named in her honor. Controversy struck the campus in 2006 when 27 employees were arrested on charges of corruption. No charges were ever filed against Dr. Kennedy. However, she retired the following year. Dr. James Lowe, who took over as president, says Dr. Kennedy was a source of encouragement for him during his transition. Uh, Dr. Kennedy was a very personable person uh, to me, and we had a great relationship. I'm truly going to miss her. Napoleon Bracey is one of the newest members of the House. He was stunned to learn of her death. Kind of got nervous. It just kind of unbelievable. Um, I sit two seats over from Dr. Kennedy uh, while we're in session, and you know, we just we're gonna really miss her. She's like an icon for our community, and she's definitely a legend um, for our area, and so well respected. She was she was a woman that exemplified grace dignity, uh, humility, all in one, or all at once, you could say. And then she was a woman of such great intelligence. You know, when she spoke, you listened. The governor will call a special election to fill Kennedy's seat. Senator Figure says it will likely be added to the election already set for January to fill the Senate seat vacated when Ben Brooks was elected to Mobile County Circuit Court. No funeral arrangements have been announced yet for Dr. Kennedy. She was 67 years old.